Hey, I'm Luke. I'm the Radiant Games Guy. I've been making games since 1997, and I've been solo since 2010. Today I'm going to talk about Dodge Bomb, a game I'm making that I'm sure won't sell. This is Dodge Bomb, an arcade dodging game. I'll talk about how I ended up making it, why I'm sure it won't sell, and a lot more. But first, a little backstory. In 2010, when Radiant Games was first founded, I made a series of small arcade games for the Xbox 360. I made seven games in 11 months, and one of those was a game called Fireball. It was inspired by pacifism, my favorite mode from Geometry Wars 2. Fireball was my wife's favorite game to play from those seven games, but it was also the worst selling. Fireball was ported to PC, iPhone, and Android over the next few years. It never sold well on any of them. Reviews of the game were pretty good, and some people love the game, but it just doesn't sell. Fast forward to last year, and I was alternating between working on two larger games, Instruments of Destruction and Rhythm Storm. I learned a lot while creating those games, including how to use compute shaders to do cool things like custom particles and vector drawing. At the same time, I was feeling stressed out, so I decided to take a break to work on a third smaller game just for fun. What could go wrong? At first, the project was called Arcadian One. RKDN doesn't stand for anything. I just thought it was a cool way to combine the words reading games and arcade. I wanted to do a quick remake of Fireball with tons of particles and vector graphics. This is the project after a few days of work. You're a fireball and there's a background grid. Oh, and the game only runs correctly if your refresh rate is 240 hertz. Here's what it looks like at 60 hertz. I probably should have just stopped at this point, but I didn't. I did GPU powered enemies, and made the bombs explode. After a week, the goal is basically done. I should have added sound effects and music and released it, but I didn't. I kept messing around with the visuals and enemy rendering and grid, and I should have stopped there, but I didn't. This is three weeks after I started the game. The game looks good. It's got a new font. The UI is good. There's a co-op mode. It has decent sound effects and music. This is really where I should have stopped. And I did stop and went back to working on Instruments of Destruction. But I would go back and play the game once in a while and want to tweak and improve things. It was probably the boring background grid or the bland colors that lured me in. So I'd work on the game for a day or two every once in a while. I don't think the game was getting any better at this point. I was just making things different. Eventually I figured out a cooler way to do the background grid. I tried to pick out a new name for it. In retrospect, I think I picked the worst of the four final name choices. But it's not worth the trouble to change it now, and it probably doesn't matter. I asked Avik to write some music for the game. I also hired someone to make a trailer for the game. And I made a Steam page, and took screenshots, and then I announced the game. This is the moment of truth. As I record this nine months after the announcement, it has 385 total wishlists. That's not great. I've spent about two months of development time on this and over $4,000 on the music and announce trailer. To be fair, I have done zero promotion since the announce trailer because I've always known it won't sell well. Yet every time I play the game, I end up enjoying it and playing longer than I meant to. I keep making little improvements and tweaks. I know I should have stopped a long time ago, but it's too late now. I just want Dodge Bomb to be good and I want to stop working on it too. To help with pushing me to release it, I'm putting a feedback demo on itch.io, and I'm making this YouTube video to talk about the game, the demo, and its evolution. I doubt I'll make any drastic changes to the game, but the feedback could help me tweak it in subtle ways that'll make it even better. So what comes next? A revised demo in the Steam Next Fest in October is very likely, and I would like to put Dodge Bomb on console, but that costs time and money. A Steam release of the full game is coming eventually, I just don't know when. Aside from releasing the demo, I don't have a plan for Dodge Bomb. I thought that writing out the script for this video would make the solution obvious, but it didn't. I'm open to ideas, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is my first real devlog video, so let me know down below if you have ideas for how to make these better in the future. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video, and uh, thanks for watching to the end. Bye.